We're continuing to solve linear systems using elimination, so let's take a look at the next one. We have the system of equations 2x minus 3y equals 5 and 2x plus y equals 6. This is our system of equations and we've seen using elimination method to do so we need one equation um, to have a coefficient of a variable that is the opposite of the coefficient of the variable in the second equation or vice versa. Um, here we don't have that so it appears we can't use elimination by addition but if you notice we do have um, two coefficients of the same variable that are identical and in this case we can actually solve this by elimination um, using subtraction and that'll work like so. So we have 2x minus 3y it'll actually work very similar to when we were using elimination by addition and then we have equals 5 and we could subtract the second equation from this from the first or actually it'll work either way so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, if you recall when we're subtracting something I like to add a negative or sub if we have 1 minus 2 um, I like to cross the minus sign out and add a negative um, remember subtracting a positive is the same thing as adding a negative okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to place parentheses around the second equation so we have 2x plus y equals 6 we're going to place parentheses around the second equation and we're going to subtract it so we're subtracting the entire equation just so we're doing so so we don't get our signs mixed up now we're going to rewrite this as 2x minus 3y equals 5 we'll do this for the first equation so um, there's no ambiguity as to what we're doing here and in the second equation we're going to distribute this subtraction sign into or this minus sign into the the parentheses into the second equation so essentially instead of subtracting this equation we're going to add the opposite of this equation which is basically what we're doing here so let's go ahead and add the second equation after distributing this minus sign so we have a minus 2x we have a minus y and we have a minus 6 so all we did is we subtracted the equation by distributing this minus sign we've actually seen it plenty of times before this is just the first time we're using it and and actually in this look of it so now um, we went from subtracting these two equations to adding the opposite and actually we have something that we can work with we have 2x minus 2x those two will cancel here we have minus 3 minus 1 is a minus 4y and we have a minus 6 over here we, we um, distributed this minus sign into the parentheses so we have 5 minus 6 is a minus 1 we can solve for y by dividing both sides by a minus 4 which will give us a positive y these two negatives will cancel so y equals 1 fourth alright so we didn't do any magic here um, we just used what we've been doing in, um, up until now um, instead of subtracting we subtracted these two equations but instead of doing so we added the opposite alright it's the same thing as subtracting it just makes more sense to me and I think it's much simpler so now same thing as before we can just um, distribute or we can substitute this 1 fourth into either equation uh, for y and we can solve for the other variable so let's use the second equation we have 2x plus y is just 1 fourth y is 1 fourth and that equals 6 let's go ahead and subtract 1 fourth from both sides so minus 1 fourth these two terms will cancel leaving us 2x equals let's go ahead and uh, convert 6 into a fraction with a denominator of 4 so we have 24 over 4 minus 1 fourth that'll give us 2x equals 24 minus 1 is 23 over 4 we can divide both sides by 2 to isolate our variable since we have a fraction over here we can just write it as 2 over 1 so we have x equals 23 over 4 we're dividing by a rational number so we're gonna flip the second and multiply so we have 1 over 2 and that just gives us 23 over 8 alright so we have uh, 1 fourth as our value for y and we have 23 over 8 as our value for x so let's go ahead and state our solution the solution point for this system of equations is 23 over 8 
and 1 fourth. We can check this by plugging in the values for x and y into the respective equations and they'll both equal out. So we're using, uh, we're continuing to solve systems of linear equations by elimination, we're just using subtraction. And we do this by recognizing when the coefficients of one variable um, are identical in both equations. Well, we'll do a few more of these. We have x plus 4y equals 4, and we have minus x plus 4y equals minus 1. Now if you notice, we can actually solve this system of equations simply by adding them, because we have um, one variable that has the opposite, the coefficients are opposites in both equations, but since we want to uh, get a little bit of a practice in by solving by subtraction, um, let's go ahead and subtract these two equations, because if you notice, we have 4y and 4y, um, we have the identical terms in both equations. So let's write the first equation here, which is x plus 4y equals 4, and we want, to sub, we want to add the opposite of this. So let's go ahead and subtract. We'll do this one more time um, just for thoroughness. We're going to subtract this equation. We're solving systems of equations by elimination. In this case, we're using subtraction. So before we do so, what we want to do is we want to distribute this minus sign into the, equa the second equation because I like to add the opposite instead of subtracting. Um, it just makes life much simpler for me. So we're going to add the opposite of this. So we're going to distribute this minus sign in the parentheses. So that's going to give us x. We're going to have minus 4y and a positive 1. We just distributed this into the parentheses. All right, now we can go about our subtracting these two equations or adding these two equations. So we have x and x is 2x. These two terms will cancel coefficients are opposites, and we have 4 plus 1 is 5. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to isolate our variable x. So x equals 5 halves. Now we have a value for one of our variables. We can plug that into either equation. Uh, let's use the first equation because we have a positive x out front, and we can solve for y. So let's see, we have, we have 5 halves for x plus 4y plugging into our first equation here, equals 4. Let's go ahead and start moving everything to the right-hand side except for our variable and subtract 5 halves from both sides. So we get 4y equals, um, 4 is the same as 8 over 2. Now we have the same denominator, so we can combine these two fractions. So we have 4y equals, 8 minus 5 is 3, so 3 over 2. And we can go ahead and divide both sides by 4, which will cancel. We have y equals 3 halves. We're going to multiply and flip the denominator, so we have 1 over 4, or just 3 eighths. And this is our value for y. Not a whole lot to these. We just need to do a little manipulation at the beginning um, to uh, solve this linear system by subtraction. All right, so we have our solution point, x equals 5 halves, and y is 3 eighths. And this is the point where these two lines intersect. All right, so not a whole lot to these. If we want to do, use subtraction, um, we need to identify um, a variable in both terms that have this identical coefficients, which both have 4y, and all we do is subtract one equation from the other, um, or if you want to look at it, we can add the opposite of one equation to the other. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little less ambiguous. So let's look at one more. Um, we have minus 3x uh, minus 3y equals 9. And we also have 4x minus 3y equals minus 3. And this is our system of linear equations. So the first thing we want to look at um, for using elimination, we want to see if um, one variable and both equations um, has identical coefficients, and that's actually the case here. So that means we can, sub we can solve these system of equations by subtracting one from the other. All right, so let's go ahead and take the first one. We have minus 3x minus 3y equals 9. And we're going to subtract the entire second equation. So we have 4x minus 3y equals minus 3. Before we do so, we want to rewrite this second equation 
instead of subtracting it, we want to add the opposite. Um, and all that means is we're distributing that minus sign into the parentheses, essentially flipping the sign of every term in the parentheses. So we're adding the opposite here. So we have the opposite of 4x is minus 4x. The opposite of minus 3y is a positive 3y. And the opposite of minus 3 is a positive 3. All right, now we can go about adding these equations. So we have minus 3y plus 3y will cancel. Uh, minus 3 and minus 4 is minus 7x equals 9 plus 3 is 12. And we can solve for x by dividing both sides by a negative 7, which gives us x equals a minus 12 over 7. So we have a value for x that we can plug into either equation and find the value for y. Um, let's go ahead and well, I guess we can use this second one as um, a positive x out front, so we don't have to deal with a negative. So let's go ahead and say 4 times x, which is minus 12 over 7. Oh, excuse me. Minus 12 over 7. Minus 3y equals a minus 3. Let's go ahead and solve for y. So we have 4 times minus 12 is minus 48 over 7 minus 3y equals minus 3. Uh, and let's go ahead and move everything over to the right except our variable. So let's add both sides by 48 over 7. These two terms will cancel, giving us minus 3y equals. Let's go ahead and convert minus 3 into a fraction with a denominator of 7. So we can combine these uh, two fractions in the next step. So we have uh, that'll be 7, so minus 21 over 7. That'll give us minus 3y equals 48 minus 21 is positive 27 over 7. Now we can divide both sides by a minus 3, or a minus 3 over 1 since we're dealing with fractions here. These two terms will cancel, so we're just left with y on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and write out one more step. So we have 27 over 7. And when we're multiply, or excuse me, we're dividing by a fraction, we don't ask why, but we flip the second and multiply. So we have a minus 1 over 3 equals 27. So we have a minus, we're uh, multiplying a positive and a negative. We have a minus 27 over 21. All right, and we can actually simplify this a little bit. Uh, they're both divisible by, th by uh, 3, so we can simplify this into a 9 over 7. And that's our value for y. All right, so not a whole lot to these. We're just solving systems of equations by elimination. In this case, we're using the subtraction method. So our solution point is the point x is minus 12 over 7 and y is minus 9 over 7. So the solution point is going to occur in the third quadrant. All right, so um, this is actually where these two lines intersect. So uh, we'll do some more of these in the next section, and then we'll look at an application of solving um, a real-world situation using um, elimination method, uh, in this case, subtraction, to solve the system of linear equations. So I'll see you in the next video.